Is anybody else a little bit weirded out by like those those lettuce warehouses where they just be growing lettuce in the warehouse and there's like no dirt? Hello! Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Tonight on the show, we are making a weeknight dinner. The weeknight dinner today is shrimp with an herby couscous. And we're making that in part because I misunderstood John's request to keep the recipe short tonight. Because I thought that he was pressed for time. But when I talked to him about that, he said, no, we don't actually have to hurry. He just needs something that's not too long to edit because he's a very busy man. And then he told me he's got two other appointments after we're done filming. So like, yeah, he is actually very busy. All right, let's begin. Uh, let me show you the herbs. Typically, when I pick herbs from my garden, I pop them in a bowl of water. And I already gave these a wash, but I'll show you, even with the wash I already gave them, there's dirt particles. That's because these plants came from outside. They didn't come from, uh, you know, like a very clean manufacturing facility. Tonight's herbs are a motley assortment of herbs. I've got cilantro, I've got oregano, I got some chives, I got a little bit of uh, this tiny thyme, I don't think this is elfin thyme, because I think that grows differently, but we have this tiny little thyme shrub that caught through in the ground. I got three kinds of mint in here. I got a spearmint. This mint, I think is orange mint. This is basil. I think it's a variegated basil. You can see there's a little bit of the white streak. Plant's not totally mature. I've got uh, Hillary Clinton mint. I, I don't think it's good, but I was like, we're using all the herbs, so why not? Oh, uh, and I got a little uh, classic basil. Genovese. I think that's all the herbs, but we're, that's what we're gonna use. And let's begin. So uh, we've made couscous before. I'm sure of it. I'm sure we've made couscous. I'm gonna put a glug of olive oil into the uh, the pot here. I'm gonna toast our couscous. I'm gonna make a lot of it. I'm gonna make two cups of couscous. Not everybody toasts couscous. Also, it's fun to say couscous. Couscous. It's a pretty plain. Grain? Couscous is a grain, right? Or is it small pasta? What the hell? It's a pasta, right? Couscous is, it's made of wheat flour. The only ingredient is wheat flour, so this, that's gotta be a pasta. Anyways, it's pretty plain, because the only ingredient is wheat flour. So if you toast it up, you get a depth of flavor. And we like that. All right, that's about as much time as I want to spend on that. But actually, that's not true, because I forgot that you are supposed to heat the water for couscous. So we'll just keep toasting it, it's fine. All right, we need a kettle. All right, let's get that water in the couscous. Ow, my hand. So the problem there was the steam affected my hand. <laughs> that was the problem. Uh, what if we, what if we put a little stock in there? How many water was that? Two and a half cups. Two and a half cups. Totally optional, you don't gotta do this. I put the lid on the pot and we're gonna simmer it like 10 minutes until it absorbs or whatever. I'm gonna just keep an eye on it. And so while that's going, we're gonna try to make the rest of our dish. I think I'm just gonna dump everything together. I think that's the kind of night that it is and that's fine. All right, so I got some uh, shrimps. Shrimps on the barbie. Over, over here. I'm gonna use my herb bowl. And I have decided that getting the shrimp that is pre-peeled is worth the money to me. There's my shrimps. If you want to have a nicer shrimp, you should dry your shrimp. Sipping on a cocktail that we filmed, the Woe Nelly, that uh, I didn't particularly care for, so I just kept dumping juice in there. So it's like booze juice, basically what it's become. Do you like it now? Yeah, it tastes great. I, I'd say the flavor is growing on me. If I was like in New Orleans and trying to get lit and I, someone served that, I'd be like, yeah, this is what I was looking for. But I'm not, I'm not looking for that right now. It's not the mode I'm in. All right, so we're gonna quick uh, sear these shrimp. They're crowded, I crowded the pan. I don't care. And I'm gonna hit them with Cavender's All-Purpose Greek Seasoning. A tantalizing taste treat. It's an ancient Greek formula. The first ingredient is MSG. 
I'm, I'm sorry, the first ingredient is salt, but MSG is up there. One of my favorite things is in the ingredients, it tells you, you know, there's obviously there's going to be some oregano in there. But the last ingredient is five other spices. A secret, secret formula only. Because I crowded the pan, there's really no point in searing them at this point, so I'm just going to leave them here and move on with my life. And I want to get a little bit of... I, I was originally planning to cook some of these things separately, but now I just want to put everything in one pot. It's just the mode I'm in. So we're pivoting, pivoting. We're just going to bake everything in a pot. It's not actually going to be everything in one pot. It's going to be cooked in separate pans, but then I just don't want to... I just don't want to cook that many different things. Some shallots, which we're going to thin slice. This is a really nice zucchini. This is just... That's just a fine specimen. And I think for our couscous today, I'm actually going to chop this up a little bit more finely than I uh, typically would. I'm going to try to have little bites rather than big bites. So I'm doing some kind of thin cuts before I dice. Get my sh shrimps a little flippy flippy. Couscous is coming along. Looks like it's almost done actually. This is our chopped zucchini. Uh, it's going to be a pretty healthy dinner, John. Pretty healthy. Can't be eating burgers all the time, you know? All right, I got a, um, a little bit of capsaicin. That's a red bell pepper here. All right, my shrimp have a, uh, it's been slightly cooked. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's fine, we'll finish them up in the in the overall dish. And I'm gonna get my veggies going next. All right, I'm just gonna throw my veggies straight in. Pan's already a little bit warm. You know, there's a little bit of shrimp flavor in there. It's good. I'll just get those sauteing. I'm looking at this couscous, it's been, uh, it's been nine minutes, and it's looking, looking pretty done. Take a little nibble. Ah, very good. Still has like a little bit of uh, springiness to it, which is good. Okay, let's start working on our herbs. And uh, you, you can, um, you could tailor this experience to your herb preferences, of course. What I like to do, like when I'm going for just give me the, give me the herbs, is I just grab a little bit of everything, and I try to get some of the bigger stems out. Cilantro doesn't matter. The oregano, you definitely gotta stem that, at least the lower parts of it. And then if you got like a fancy specialty tool, like a big old bat left kind of thing, you could use that. But if you don't, just use a knife, like a normal person. And you can, you know, you can come through it different ways. You can make it as fine or not fine as you want. I think that's good for us. So we're gonna wait all the way to the end of uh, the whole dish for that. But what I am gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna zest some lemon here. So nothing, I didn't get too much lemon zest, but it's fine. Probably give it a squeeze of lemon now too. This couscous is done, so I'm not too worried about uh, like the lemon juice tasting weird from heat. So we're kind of gonna be in like a little bit of a, a balancing act, I'd say. Keeping this couscous warm and not continuing continuously cooking it. It's always tricky with timing. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop my herbs in. Uh, you could do it. I, I said I was gonna do it at the end. Changed my mind. Forgot I was gonna add some uh, garlic scapes to the veg. Go ahead and add those. These are from my garden. They, I picked them a few days ago so you can see they're drying out a little bit. But it's just the, the top stem of garlic. Tastes great. It's a seasonal treat. And it cooks real fast too, because it's you know, like these thin bits. That'll give us a little bit of extra garlic flavor, extra crunch, plus two health to the dish. My veggies are a little bit on the al dente side, but remember, food continues to cook after you're done cooking it. It is a property of heat. I'm gonna put the shrimp and the juices back in, because the juice will be flavorful. And we might be able to scrape the pan just a little bit with the juice, it's also good flavor. All right, time to dump. All that goodness in there. And we're just gonna mix it all together. And again, I think, I kind of regret putting all those herbs in early. They kind of did cook into it. So we'll get more herb flavor, but texturally, I might, uh, I might just do half and then garnish with half. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's eat. Uh, I did not salt or pepper this at all. I will give, we'll do a little bit of pepper. We had some seasoning on the shrimp. Uh, we'll just give mine a little salt. And that's it. Easy shrimp and herby couscous. Herby couscous. Herbaceous shrimp couscous. Let's get in there. I'm gonna try it with no shrimp first. Mm, it's herby. It's lemony. It's not too shrimpy. Shrimp's kind of like a secondary flavor, but I really like that Greek Greek seasoning. We'll see how it tastes with a little bit more lemon. Fresh squeeze. Mm, yep, could use a little bit more lemon than I put in. But, you know, it's a simple dish. It is what it is. It's like, it just tastes like vegetables and herbs. And that is what it tastes like. I feel like this will make us feel wholesome and nutrified, which is always important 
because most of our bodies are full of microplastics, which will probably be the death of us all. And that's our show on PGC. Thanks for watching, that's how you do it. If you like what we're doing, why not go out and uh, start a garden if you haven't before? Because that's probably more productive than spending your time on the internet. See you next time on PGC. Bye bye. I think instead of microplastics, we should be filling our bodies with macroplastics. Nope.